Hello, fellow birders. My name is Dennis Kania. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at tanagers that might be seen in DuPage County. On the DuPage Birding Club Education Channel, we'll be discussing all things bird related. And as I mentioned earlier, we'll be talking specifically about scarlet tanager, summer tanager, and even western tanager. So here's a graph of data collected over the past 33 years at Fermilab. And you can see that scarlet tanager is a regular visitor to that site. You can see that they're showing up uh, in very early May, possibly in the latter part of April, but mo mostly it seems like they're, they're showing up in that first week in May. And we do have them through the breeding season and typically they depart by the end of September. However, I have had occasion uh, where I found them in mid-October, so there is a possibility. Summer tanager, we just only have one record for Fermilab. And uh, if you go and look at eBird data for the rest of DuPage County, you'll find that they are a breeding species and certainly not uh, regularly occurring, but they are here. And so we do have records through eBird that show them through the entire breeding season and they do depart about the same time as the uh, scarlet tanager. And we don't have any records at all for Western tanager in the county. However, they do show up uh, along the uh, lakefront. And so it's just a matter of time, I think, before we do get a legitimate uh, Western tanager record for DuPage County. So let's start off with our first bird here, which I like to call the black winged redbird. You can think about that for a second. You can see that this bird shows up in a variety of plumages. In all cases though, it will have that very, very dark wing. So typically we expect our scarlet tanagers to look like this, and they are all red with that black wing. On occasion, we do get individuals that will be a more orange in color, like this individual here. And we can even in the returning in the fall, we can have birds that are very yellowish. Uh, this one's more or less olivey, but I've seen them yellower than this, but they'll still have that black wing. Females are a little duller, and the wing, in fact, is a little bit duller, but it still is much darker than anything we would see on summer tanager. Uh, make note of the bill size on this species, and you'll see that when we look at the summer tanager, the bill is quite a bit larger. Here we have summer tanagers, and again, starting out with a red bird. Uh, in this case, we're lacking that black wing. In fact, all the feathers that are in the wing are edged in the same color as the, the body color. So in this case, this is an adult male, and so all the feather edges are kind of reddish. And so the wing does not contrast very much with the rest of the body. In this case here, we have a female, and she's very olivey yellow, and so you can kind of see there are yellowy or olivey edges to the uh, feathers in the wing here, and so once again, not much contrast at all with the body. This individual is a young first year male, and so it is showing some red here in the face and across the breast, and they'll be very blotchy on occasion. Some of them will show much more extensive red than what this individual is showing. But in this case, the um, uh, edges of all the feathers in the, in the wing are going to reflect the color that we're seeing in the back. And so, uh, once again, very olivey looking, but again, not much contrast between that wing and the rest of the body. And so, should be in any of these plumages, we should be able to determine that we're not looking at a scarlet tanager. And as I mentioned earlier, in looking at the, uh, the bill of the scarlet tanager, if we look at this western tanager, or I'm sorry, summer tanager bill, you'll see it's much larger than what we saw uh, on our scarlet tanager. And uh, summer tanagers can on occasion look a bit crested. Uh, that's not uncommon for them to look like that. So you can watch for that as well. So our third species, which hasn't shown up in the county, at least I, I'm not aware of any um, accepted records for this species, but it is something that we should be on the lookout for. And certainly if we were to see an adult male, it would be very, very obvious to us. Uh, it would have this reddish head, along with a very bright yellow body, very black wings, black tail, and very bold, inconspicuous wing bars. And whether we have a male that's uh, in full breeding plumage like this one, or if we see a bird like this that doesn't have the um, red in the face, you're still going to see these very, very strong wing bars on a black back and black wings. The females are going to be a little duller, 
Uh, in this case, the back will be gray. The wing is still pretty dark. It's a dark gray, and it does again have wing bars. This individual as well has wing bars and dark gray back. Notice the bill is um, more the size of a scarlet tanager size bill. So the thing that you have to be aware of is that you can have some uh, scarlet tanagers that will show wing bars in the fall. And I have run into individuals like that. So um, in that case, you'd be looking at a dull olive looking bird and you kind of get the hint of this wing bar. But pay attention to that back. And if the back is gray rather than olive, then, uh, then you have found a Western tanager. So that would be great news if you can do that. So it doesn't hurt to, to dream a little bit and there is a possibility. And I think it's just a matter of time before this bird shows up. As I said, they, there are several records of the species coming from the Chicago lakefront. So uh, in comparing scarlet tanager to summer tanager, you'll find that the summer tanager bill is almost twice the size of the scarlet tanager bill. Scarlet tanagers have a blackish wing in all plumages and summer tanagers wings uh, do not contrast sharply with the body color. So if the body color is red on a male, uh, you'll have red feather edgings on all those uh, feathers in the wing. And if it's an olivey uh, colored female, you'll have olivey edges. And if it's that first year male, you'll also have olivey edges. But in either case, you won't have a lot of contrast between the body color and the wing color. Female scarlet tanners can have a faint wing bar, as I mentioned, and very fresh plumage in the fall. Um, and it doesn't hurt to dream. So Western tanners will have a fairly well-defined wing bar, uh, wing bars. In the back, the male will be black and um, females will be gray. But in, in either case, you know, it's always going to be very noticeable compared to um, the other two previous species. So thanks for taking the time to view this video. Hopefully we have given you some bird food for thought. And I hope you'll come and join us again in the future to explore all things bird related.